it's me coming back to you uh, folks on the internet there I have a special little thing to do today it's nothing related to painting a painting it's not related to the easel but it's related to what we do it's related to the tools we use so I happened upon a relic and I'm I haven't opened it yet and I thought maybe some folks would get a kick out of just seeing this thing this is an old old relic of years gone by here this is the bob ross master kit by weber so uh, martin f weber company used to make the products and they were good products and things changed uh so this is the old set and we're going to see what's in here i know what's in here but i thought you guys might like to see this and we might even see if some of the paint's still good but i'm, I'm really wanting to see about the brushes because that's why i bought this this old kit so found this and it's it's i'm excited so let's get let's let's open it so i haven't even pulled the plastic off nothing nothing yet there we go i had a little tear in it when i got it all right so i had two of these now mine was quite a bit different the liquid white came in a little bottle it also came with a, a cd and, and some other stuff that's quite a bit different so my sets were probably from back in 2016 when i first started painting so here we go. This me I may should have sent this to the Smithsonian. I don't know. Alright. So I got that. There's some nice plastic we can use to, you know, pollute the earth a little more. Alright. So I'm going to open this up. Let's open this up. Oh, nice lid there that we have. The, the Bob Ross Master Paint Kit. Right? We'll set that there. Oh, boy. Now some of the stuff has shifted, it looks like, over the years. Let's see what we have. Look here, join, I hope you guys can see that, join the Bob Ross TV Art Club. I'm going to send that in and see what happens. Let's see, do I have to put any stamps on here? Yeah, enroll me. Uh, I can get $16.95 for one year or $28 for two years, so that's a deal right there. I see, oh, instructions for two paintings. We have the color instructions. Well, these are the, just the instructions for both paintings that are in here, I believe. So, these instructions are how to step by step. You know, if you've ever seen one of the books, this is the same thing here. Talks about. So, and again, I, I'm not going to zoom in for these things, but it's got like mountain sky, mountain sky and water, paint, what you need. So, all that stuff. It'll walk you through that. And then you have this painting. I thought it had two in here. It may. Oh, the other one. Okay, so it has this. All right, look at that. That's a pretty one, and that's a good first starting point for a Bob Ross painting. Now, if you expect it to open this or one of the new master kits up and paint something like this, tone down your expectations. It won't look quite this good, right? That's Bob. Bob painted 30 some thousand paintings, so it's not going to look exactly like that, but you can do a good job at it. All right, now I'm already disappointed here. I see something, something I don't like. If we look at the if we look at the box, I was excited. I was going to get a little jar of liquid white, and I got the little bottle of liquid white. Which I wish you guys could see this. All the the, the linseed oil has kind of uh, separated from the titanium white, so this thing is going to need like you don't have to take this to Lowe's and have them put it on one of those paint um, stirring machines to get this back to where we can use it. It's hard, but that's a disappointment, right? But again, a bottle of liquid white, never really a disappointment. All right, so let's set that over here. We've got our paints. The paints are quite firm, and that, that may be good. That may not be good. Oh, oh, the blue is blue is nice. There's Thalo blue, Van Dyke brown. Let's put them back in here as we we go over them. How do they go in here? There, there. That's weird. All right, uh, we've got Midnight Black. Feels good in the tube. Not too much oil and not um, not too little oil either. Some titanium white. Oh, that feels nice. That's going to be a good tube for mountains right there. And then we've got the other assorted colors. Green, cad yellow, bright red, and crimson. And those are really, if you had just these eight colors, you'd be on your way. You wouldn't need anything else. Now, it's always good to have yellow ochre or Indian yellow to kind of change things up, but you can 
you know, you can make orange with the bright red here and, and the cad yellow. You can mix light greens and dark greens and all that good stuff. All right, here's, here's the stuff that's exciting to me. This is an old fan brush. The plastic is even kind of like melted a little bit, it looks like. I don't know how to take the plastic off just yet, but that's a good fan brush. It's a little misshapen, but I can fix that. Yeah, it's old. I've never, I don't have one that has this kind of writing on it. It's so number six, the bigger fan brush that Bob used. So that's a nice one. Got that one. Oh, this looks like, oh, the script liner looks, oh my goodness. So this is what Bob probably used. This looks like a great script liner. A little different than the newer one. It's got more hairs on it, or hairs in it, it looks like. Let's try that out. Oh, and I've needed a new knife. The Holy Grail here, an old knife that's got a good cut to it. Uh, it feels good. I'll probably take the plastic off. I don't know. We've got our one inch that, oh, oh, that feels nice. Don't do this when it's got paint thinner or, or paint. Yeah. Smells good. Oh, that is super soft. Natural bristles. Yeah. I, I may not use these. I got this for the brushes. But that's a really good brush. It feels really good. And then the the thing that made me want to find an old kit was one of these. The black, the the number two. Oh my! It is super full of hair. It's actually a little bit misshapen, but uh, once we once we use it, it'll go back. Look how much hair is in that brush. Look, look how much hair. Look how many hairs are in that brush. Wow! And it's heavy. Oh, that is a, I'll put it down on my face too. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Good, good. And then the last thing here is I may need some help, guys. I may need some help. We've got our getting started VHS tape. So, I don't even know if we have a VHS player anymore. But I've actually got the uh, CD that came with mine. But... That's pretty cool. Just an old relic. So I'd imagine this set's this set's from at least the 90s. It looks like. Doesn't really say on the box as far as I can tell. But just knowing that it comes with a VHS, it's, it, it, you know, it could be early 2000s too. Um, I, I would imagine up to 2005, 2006 maybe. I, for, I, I don't know. I'm just shooting in the dark here because, you know, CDs became fairly cheap. Uh, in the early 2000s, so I don't know why you would still be sending folks VHS's, but anyway, uh, even if it's from mid 2000s, you know, 2003, that's still that brushes. Oh, that brush is great. And like I said, it's a little bit poofed up there. Just probably put something on it, hold that down, and it'll go right back in shape. Never been used, of course. But there is our. Let's put everything back. I'll probably not use it. You know me. That goes there. That goes there. The fan brush is excellent. Oh my goodness. And I'm, I'm super excited about the script liner. It looks really good. All right. And some extra cardboard here. What I'm trying to figure out is it, it looks like there's a place. See this? Uh, for the little round thing of liquid white. And then they started putting this in here. Because this was in here somehow. It's in here like this. Because it's, it's circular cut out right there. So I don't understand what happened. I guess they just decided to start using these. They said cut that styrofoam out and put one of those in there. Instead of that nice jar. I was looking forward, I was looking forward to having the jar. Because that, that was kind of exciting to me. I've never seen one like that. I've seen them but I don't have one. Uh, and apparently there's, there's supposed to be two paintings in here. I only saw the one. Before I quit here. Let's see if we find the other one. Yeah. I think they've left me a... Yeah, they didn't give me the other painting for some reason. And and the box hasn't been open, as you can tell. So that's weird. I, I guess I can complain, but I doubt it. All right. I was not, um, the Weber company doesn't make these anymore. We might try the brush strokes letter there. Let's just put everything back together. Whew. That's exciting, right? Um, so the new master kit comes with pretty much the same stuff. So if you're looking for starting out with Bob Ross painting or just wet on wet paint, the Master Kit's still a good way to go. 
if you um, are lucky enough, you may run into one of these old ones. And the brushes in here are great. So um, this one, you guys to see that. Not a painting or anything, just something fun for me. Uh, the easel video, the table video, the palette video, and everything's coming today. I'm working on, um, I've got it on the computer over there. Kind of uh, editing it just a little bit. But we'll have that out. And I'll also have maybe the painting behind me as a, a new tutorial. Super easy painting, but pretty cool looking. So I will see you guys down the road and probably see you again maybe today or tomorrow. Today's Saturday, so um, everybody stay well. Have a good weekend. Take care of each other, okay? See you guys.